Yo, what's up? Got a story to tell you. It's not a weekend though. I'm already, I'm sure I'm already late for my plan time for getting to work. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using here. Most of the stuff you've seen before. This is a, a brush made by Gray Dog. That's off the handle. Alan Codre. Haven't seen him around for a while, for quite a while, so I'm a little worried. I hope he comes around. It's called his quilt brush. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Gonna use the Occam Orin. The sweet looking like a Star Wars y kind of. Kind of razor. Have a Kai Pink blade in here. Um, just. So I was rooting around and I saw I got a pack of these and not my favorite, although wow, this is that's pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. I was just gonna say I'm just gonna use these up uh, and then just use Pro Guards from here on out for everything under the sun, but uh, this is one after you get one shave under it. This is super smooth. I uh, hope you all noticed. My, my do, got my hair did yesterday. First haircut not given by myself since 2019. It was pretty slick. She did the whole thing without even, I never took my mask off. Uh, it was pretty cool. She's able to kind of like, you know, pull, pull here and, 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 and pull the, whatever, the loop, the ear loop out of the way a bit to be able to get in there and stuff. I, I mean, obviously I've been doing this for quite a while, so um, I know how to do it. That's not my story. My story starts with a boy named Brian. Scuttle soap for those of you on the cadre. I don't even know what that means because the object itself, wouldn't that be a soap scuttle? So scuttle soap would imply that that's a verb being applied to a noun, which would be like scuttling your soap, which would be like sinking it. Unless he's like, man, I'm such a bad beep shaver that I can sink my soap. I use so much. You know? I don't know. Kind of. That's confusing. Don't think about that too long. Anyway, I think I've mentioned him before as the man with the beautiful, beautiful bald head. Um, also, uh, if you've seen him on Zoom calls, he, he resembles this fella here. He's <laughs> kind of got big old headphones and bald head. Speaking of which, why do you not do Shea videos? He's got a good, good personality. Plus, like I said, sharing that uh, sexy dome with the world would be a, a gift to us all. Uh, anyhow, he's known for being a pretty dang generous feller. Uh, I also give him a hard time because I swear he doesn't use a soap more than more than once. This guy's got new soaps coming in on the daily. And uh I'm pretty I'm pretty jealous. He's got some good look at I'm almost done with the second pass. We haven't started the most the bulk of the story here. Uh the stuff he finds, almost all of it sounds delicious. He is it's either citrus. Or the sauce. He likes the, the boozy smelling scents, which is cool. That's cool. But those are his two wheelhouses, boy. And if he doesn't have a, a citrus or a boo scent in his shade, I, I, I start to worry. Anyhow, our story I'll, I'll jump up ahead a little bit. I've been talking a lot, uh, had been talking a lot about uh, coffee on the cadre. I've talked about that on past videos. Uh, anyway, I, just in my research, I found this thing called the the bright, the brew pipe, which just is this ridiculous thing that 
I don't even, it's just, it's, it looks like a pipe and somehow you put coffee grounds in it and boiling water. And I think you just, you let it sit there. You don't blow through the thing, but then it's got a filter where you suck to, to drink this stuff. In theory meant to be like when you're out camping or hiking and you just want to spend an inordinate amount of time on a small amount of coffee and happen to have hot water available. And anyway, it was insane. Brian that day posts a shave where he mentions the bright, but he's also shaving with this barista. Isn't <laughs> that ridiculously? You're like, what were they on when they? Oh, I, no, I was gonna say. So this is a uh, crown and crane. The package came with the crown and crane return logo, and I knew I hadn't bought anything. I was like. Maybe it's part of my secret Santa. I didn't think so. And then my first thought went to Brian. I had forgotten about this soap. So I don't know what's up with the, the when they think coffee shop. And they're like, well, obviously we're going to put a ram in there drinking coffee. Anyway, uh, this doesn't smell like coffee, surprisingly. It's supposed to smell like a coffee shop. with a, It says a hint of coffee and then sweetness of uh, pastries and things like that. So anyway, I get, I get this. It's got his address as the, the purchaser on it. So thank you. Let me make sure I don't miss uh, saying, uh, uh, thank you during this video. Um, he sent that in the, uh, barista aftershave, but I was, you know, I was, I was thinking, I assumed it was because I'd been talking about coffee a lot. And I, and, and as soon as I saw it, I knew he had used this soap at one point, but I was like, did I say something to, to single this one out? And I also wanted to see what, because usually it's his notes about what it smells like. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need that. I figured that must have triggered something. So in the cool search function, I type in barista uh, on the cadre on the forums and then search for only posts by Scuttle Soap. And uh, up come two posts both the same shave so again proves he's only used this thing once uh, like i like i said so it's probably you know already in a box to i swear i'm, I'm just waiting for his bst of 200 once you soaps because i'm down with that uh, but no it was even funnier it's like i said i was expecting you know to some amazing scent note and then for me to say oh my gosh that smells amazing i need that and him being just the over as generous gen generous fella he is saying well somebody with a goatee as magnificent as yours certainly deserves to shave with that soap as good as this that was not the case what happened was he made uh, some jab about the bright I had posted, saying he needs to send me. And this thing is like ninety bucks for this for this coffee smoking whatever the heck it is. So my comment in return, he said he's gonna send me this this bright. And my comment in return was, your money would be much better spent sending me that soap and aftershave. Well, if that's all it takes, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Brian. Super cool. Uh, I thought it, uh, you know, when I opened it up and saw it was from Brian, I thought, wow, it was pretty cool. You know, these uh, <clears throat> surprise gifts, piffs, if you want to refer to them as are uh, a lot of fun a big part of the cadre people send samples and stuff all over the place all the time um, anyway i'm just uh thankful so thank you for not just that but uh 
that I, I'm glad that he gets to join us on the Zoom calls and stuff. Fun guy. That's why I think he, he should do videos. Um, where's I going with that? Oh, man. Well, this is a section dedicated to Barber Day where he just... Whoop, forgot where I was going with that. Oh, yeah. No, I was... Same. Oh, that it that, that was cool when I opened it up and, and saw that it was from him. But then just before I hit shot this video and found out, I think it was in response to my comment about just sent this open after she. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny. All right, all right, David. And just I'll do the lavender again. I did lemon yesterday. You gotta get rid of this girly stuff somehow, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I should have, I mean, I didn't, I just, I read you, I told you what it smells like. I don't know that I would pick up coffee in there, so that's kind of interesting. Um, it's a nice scent, and that was, um, it's interesting, because this is my first Crown and Crane soap. And then, 99% uh, sure that I've used samples of them in the past. <sighs> And usually, if I've used a sample and I don't have any of their soap, that means that I've decided that it just was not a top-notch performer for me. But this was good. I mean, you guys saw it. It was nice and nice and thick. And uh, I tell you, that's what's, there was going to be one day where I'm just going to be, damn you, I'm going to be in a shopping mood. I'm going to go through Brian's... Uh, forum post and look at all of these scents he's been using scotch this and bourbon that and lime this and tobacco and i'm just gonna make a list and i'll just find some place that has a bunch of them and load up and it'll be glorious so there we do we did the sayers lavender dude <laughs> he's gotten on the I I uh, I told him I actually I wrote Thayer's once and I'm like hey we promote your product how about just some stickers or signposts it took him forever to respond and basically said hey we don't have time for you um, and so I know uh, Major Rich no Major Rich put him in that corner there and uh, Barbara Dave um, both of now sometimes in their videos tease about. Shaking up the balm here. Um, tease about. There should be sponsoring. Let me make sure before I make a fool of myself that it's not sealed up. There we go. Um, <clears throat> but I have thought that, gee, many Christmas. Uh, it's been years for me with this. There's lemon stuff. Um, in, in quite a while for rich and then and then dave's gotten on board if i was so inclined i could put together a montage over you even put the like the dates on there to show them that it's just been this extensive time where we've been advertising their product and then <clears throat> throw it up on youtube and send them the link and be like here can we not just get a sticker and Maybe after I buy half of what <clears throat> Soap Brian's bought this year. Oh so, yeah, I don't have good scent notes for this. I guess more so the balm than the soap. You get kind of, if you think about it, there's a little uh, coffee note in there. It's more sweet. Um, I wouldn't say that I get pastries, and I don't think you'd want to. To get the pastry scent, you need kind of a yeasty scent to signify bread. And yeast doesn't come across in like scented stuff so good. Kind of like wine. Those two things. Fermented things. I'll get back to it. There we go, Dave. Off the rails. I've talked about this before. That fermented scents do not come across artificially at all. People cannot get those scents right. I think they're so complex in nature. We just haven't figured out a way to reproduce them. Although probably Disney has. Probably Disney pushing out. French bread scent, like, uh, on their boardwalk or something and getting it spot on. But anyway, for us peons that, you know, buy stuff for under hundred bucks a bottle, they can't do that. So anyway, 
it is a bit, bit and, and the scent is like, you know, gone. I just was noticing when I put it on. Uh, anyway, that's not, I haven't used a balm for a long time. Well, there we go. Thank you, Brian. See you on the forums.